I built a wall from the top of the map all the way to the bottom straight through the middle on a vanilla official server completely as a solo. I'm not kidding, I literally cut the map in two. It took almost 1.5 million wood and 65 hours over five days, but eventually we achieved our goal, but not without making some enemies on the way. Unfortunately for my enemies though, I was already doing quite a bit of farming this wipe. The plan for today is to somehow manage to cut the map in half with walls. It's a bit optimistic and I don't know how it's going to go, but we're going to try our best. I wasn't actually planning on farming trees in order to complete the wall. Instead, I found a server with the perfect map that had the outpost positioned roughly center, but more importantly, as close to the snow as possible. From here, I could farm stone and convert it to wood with the shop and the outpost, greatly increasing the efficiency of how fast I could collect wood. Now all I had to do was make my way to the outpost and find a spot to throw down a starter. Oh my god. I actually need that. How much scrap is it to research a high external gate? 500? No way it's 500 for a wooden gate. I think it's 125, right? Oh, dude, I can 100% research this straight up. 100%. We get to outpost, we hit a few road signs, and we research the high external wooden gate straight away. With no blueprints on the server, getting the high external wood gate early was huge. I farmed a bit around the outpost and managed to craft a crossbow and nail gun at the workbench there. Then I found a nice spot on the edge of the snow to build my starter. But before we get building, let me tell you about today's sponsor. Thank you to Howl for sponsoring this video. They're the biggest Rust gambling site, so this one's for my viewers that are 18 years or older. They have a free case that you can open and win up to $2,000 every day. There's also game modes such as Jackpot, Coin Flip, and The Wheel. Their shop has every item available to withdraw, and for a limited time, you can get a 40% bonus when depositing with crypto and gift cards. Use code YEXUM to get a free 50 cents. Let's go look at this decayed base. Is this still yet to pop? Metal and high is not even decaying. Damn. This decayed base down the hill was worth keeping an eye on. But for now, I managed to do a run to the satellite dish to get a blue card. Then, after depoting at home, I headed to water treatment to try and secure a red. I mean, I'm going to take tree through ladder anyway, so it's not that big, but we'll take a ladder. We're not going to take tree through ladder if we find a wood wall, though. So maybe it's a sign that we're about to find a wood wall. Oh, that's huge. That's actually huge. Right, I'm going to go farm some more nodes. Does he run? He runs. Oh, he did my farming for me. Thank you, bro. What are you planning on doing with that thing? <laughs> well, that's where they live. Yo, Bill, can you leave us alone? I am friendly. Don't fight me, please, please. I friendly solo, okay? Uh, okay, we are your neighbors. We don't want any harm to you. We, uh, you friendly, I, I, I friendly. I'm yes, yes. Scared. Yeah. Uh, can you give us the metal back? You can have, you can have a bit of metal back, yes. On your doorstep. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Mwah. Sorry, I, I was just scared. No, no worries, man, no worries. We had some friends. 
Rosalie and Ola would have a pretty integral role in the story further down the line, but for now, I planned on moving base to somewhere with greater options to expand. So I ran a couple of grids south to place down what would be my main base. Oh god, he's coming straight here. Wait, have they got... Is there any loot? Hello, hello, hello. Loot or no? Oh my god. <gasps> Tier 2. I found binoculars. Is there a TC in this? Nice, man. Uh, my, my, friend is, my friend is coming, my friend is coming. Oh yeah. Cool, cool. My friend is coming, he's friendly. Nice, nice. Yoink. Was there anything in here? No, not really. Unless you guys took it. I found, I found a really nice binocular. Ah, uh, yes, nice, nice. Securing this level 2 was a massive leg up in progression. To end the first day, I did a bit more farming and built some extra honeycomb in the main base before researching the SAR, sealing the bunker, and hopping off. To start day 2, we did a quick train tunnels run to get some semi-bodies and springs so that we could craft a SAR. And while we were at the outpost, we bought a jackhammer, which would be essential to getting the wall done. However, the first run with it went a little bit different to expected. Oh, dude, I don't want to lose this jackhammer. What the hell? It's not looted. It is looted, damn it. As if he let me shoot three times. What? Holy shit, garage doors. Oh, that's so good. So much stone as well, dude. That's so good. This is literally like just stone and wood in this base. That is so perfect for what I need. But like for anyone else, that's kind of like useless. Would it be dumb to open this door? I can't do anything else in terms of ceiling. Imagine if I could trap him in there and get another kit. Later, bitch. What? Did he backwards pick that? He headshot me through there. You're kidding. Oh. 
Oh, they're so low. The roofs are so low, dude. I think he probably knows it's done now. And he gave me an extra kit. I transferred the juice from this counter raid to my main base, then decided it was time to start the grind. To assist my farming, a shop was selling pure Ortiz for 2,000 soul for each, so of course I headed to the outpost and bought one for my first proper farm run. While it's night time, we'll go convert an inventory of stone to wood. And then when it goes morning, we'll try and start building the wall. Let's get an inventory of stone. After spending 20 minutes converting stone to wood, we had enough to begin building the wall. However, not before we were interrupted by some shooting nearby. Okay, there's still gunshots going off out there. Let's go suss, suss the shooting. It's like they're shooting out something. Oh, is this getting raided? Definitely people in there. Why? I'm dead here. Tier three. There's one more! There's one more! No! I thought I only heard two. Damn, I should have had that. So close, man. So close. I didn't know it at the time, but this group was going to become a real thorn in my side for the rest of this wipe. They lived in the cluster of bases next to where this raid was going down, and so far I had three of their names. Demetrius, Idella, and Misty. With the raid cleared up, I turned my attention back to starting the wall, which didn't seem to sit well with my new enemies. Seven fifty stone in each one. And then we need to go straight down the hill here. This part down here is going to be the dodgiest part, though, with these guys online. I need these guys to leave for a bit. They live in that base up there. And they were taking heli and stuff. I could just come out with one TC at a time so I don't lose too much. Oh no. I knew these guys would be an issue. They're gonna know very quickly who it is building this wall because they've already got my name. And once they know, he knows I was building those TCs. So as soon as he sees those walls, he's gonna know it's me. In order to stop the wall decaying, I needed to place tool cupboards along the entire length of it. In each cupboard, I put more than a week's worth of upkeep to ensure the wall would stand for a while. It's 
safe to say these eyes are not going to be fun to play with. They know that I'm placing TCs. They're getting really sus of me, which is not good. They live right there. There's no way I get back. All right, I'm going to do walls now. It has begun. Thompson? The Thompson must have fallen into the abyss because I never did find it and instead went back to placing walls. We had started from roughly the center of the map by our main base and we're going to head north first. And while doing so, someone got eaten by a bear in the forest. I didn't get the loot before being killed by Demetrius, but this gave me another name to add to the list. Anna. Bringing the total in this group to four. I used the rest of the resources left in base to extend the wall as far as possible, then headed to the outpost and bought a few more Ortiz, because we were going to need them. We are so close to 100k, so if you're enjoying this video, why not hit that subscribe button and turn the bell on while you're there. Oh, and once we hit 100k, let's just say there's going to be a huge giveaway on my Twitter, so make sure to go follow me over there too. The link's in the description. Fucking Demetrius. The train tracks and roads that we inevitably had to cross are not able to be built on, meaning that there was no way to avoid having a gap in the wall. To combat this, I would build turret bases at each crossing in order to stop people from passing through. However, before I bothered with any turrets, I wanted to get the wall built.
Oh my. Was he coming to grief me? I think he was coming to try and grief me. <sighs> After six hours of non-stop farming and building, we had the wall about 40% complete from our base in the center of the map to the train tracks in the north. Currently, I had four bases. My main base, my original starter base, the turret base at the train tracks, and another 2x1 that I'd placed down while building the wall. I distributed a little bit of loot between all four, then hopped off for day two. No way we didn't get raided. I was so sure of it, dude. Let's do a, a run down the wall and have a look at it, eh? If anything, I think the place up in the snow where the guy was trying to grief me yesterday is going to be the place where we have issues. This base is raided. Okay, so starter number one has been raided. I don't even know what I left in here. I think I left a jackhammer in here. I'll, uh, I'll take that back over, I think. Okay. Hell, it's me, man. It's me, it's me, 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 me. Remember from the other day? Hello, hello. Oh, Bill, yes. How you going, man? Hello. Have you been raided? My base got raided, man. Uh, I can give you some tools. Nah, it's but, okay. Uh, it's okay. I'll find something else. Look at this wall, man. Look at the wall. It goes so long. Like, Where does it go to, man? Airfield. What um, the hell? Fortunately for me, the wall was entirely untouched overnight. And the only base that was raided was my original 2 by one I had a feeling I knew exactly who had raided it, but would never know for sure. So far, progress was going pretty well, but we still had a lot more to get done. So we got straight back on the tools to begin the southern wall. I'm going to run south and just suss out the close area where I'm going to put this wall. So I haven't actually looked at it anywhere near this way yet. Through this forest. Oh, go away, please. God, I missed so many shots then. I so could have easily had him. That was terrible. It wasn't long before we figured out Cyrus lived in the base that was only a stone's throw away from mine. And after doing a train tunnels run for some components, he made it clear that he didn't want to be friends. There's a guy on my base. I'm getting camped. I know where they live. They live right there. Wouldn't be messing with a guy that has two boxes of sulfur and a lot of farming still to do ahead of him. I wasn't planning on building a compound around my base just yet, as once I connected the wall to my compound, that would confirm for everyone exactly who was building such a monstrosity. But with Cyrus so close and willing to camp me, I didn't really have a choice. I built a couple external TCs and used some walls to create a compound that had two exits, one for either side of the wall. Then I continued construction on the wall, this time heading south. No, 20 walls, bro. 20 walls. It's him. He has to run all the way around the wall. That's his base right there. He has to run all the way around the walls to get back to it. Can I get there in time? The wall's not that long that side. 20 walls is a lot to lose, dude. It's a lot of wood.
dropped 10 of the walls. He definitely dumped the walls somewhere. Now we got to find them. Uh, is this what he decided to do with the 10 walls? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So that's what he did with the 10 walls. He just threw them down there. Fair enough. Might be time for another base down here in the rocks. I heard him coming. I think they're probably obviously still camping. So, let's see if they are camping, eh? <laughs> 700 gunpowder? Bruh. Okay. Cheers. Cyrus, you cheeky dog. Cyrus, you cheeky, cheeky dog. He was trying. Cyrus is trying to place some TCs down. Also, Cyrus's teammate is online, which is not ideal. I just pre-fired him. Well, they're not getting back to base. Oh my god, he had a gun. Straight through the wall, they can't chase. After this fight, Cyrus and his mate didn't seem to bother me too much and I was able to continue building. May as well depot here and keep farming while we're out here. guy there. Oh, there's two guys there. Is that an AK? Now, it might be a waste of a T, but it's only got eight minutes left on it if I try and fight this.
No, Demetrius just took an inventory of stone. Bill, how are you? Thank you for the loot, Bill. Bill? Huh? Thank you for the loot. What? Thank you for stone. Ah, uh, no worries, anytime. I teammate kill you. Yes, yeah, yeah, whatever, man. I don't care. It is only stone. Um, thank you. All right, Anna. You keep rubbing it in. If you've been observant so far, you would have noticed that every time I've gone to farm stone, I've also been farming sulfur. By this point, I had over three boxes of the good stuff. And I'm sure you can guess exactly where I was planning on using it. For now, though, we had a wall to build. Man, what the fuck is this? Huh? What, why you build this, man? Please. Man, somebody save, else save do us. it. I steal base. Someone else, man. It's crazy, eh? You steal base? Yes. I steal this from guy built this. It's crazy, though. Ah. Uh, how, how I can go to my home? This, uh, this wall is uh, wrong. Uh, I don't know, man. You might need to find way around or over, maybe. Where, where is the exit? Uh, um, I'm not sure, man. Okay. I feel bad. Is it bad that I feel bad? Like, if I, their house is right there. They are in the worst spot. Guys, on that roof of that base where I'm about to build through, that's annoying. It's really annoying. We're gonna have an issue with these guys up here if they're gonna sit on their roof and watch me do it. An issue we did have. These guys were on their roof waiting for me to continue the wall and when I tell you that they didn't leave their roof, I mean it. I was planning on getting the southern wall completed up to the train tracks before the end of the night, but with these guys eager to wait me out, I instead distributed more than a box of sulfur and some kits between my six bases in case of an offline, which I was more than certain I was gonna receive. Dude, there is no way I'm not raided. I'm going to run down the wall. We'll spawn at one end and run the entire length of it to see the damage that's been done overnight. Okay. Two bases of six not raided. No, three bases of six not raided. Nice. Hey, this, this base isn't raided. Yes, dude. This has 30 walls in it, so that's good. As if, dude. That's actually impressive. Not a single base was raided overnight. Some would call that a miracle. The first thing we did was finish up the south wall to the train tracks and then build the turret bases across the two train tracks and road that was there. I figured now was as good a time as any to go hunting for the materials that we needed to make the turrets work. We needed 10 turrets in total, four for the northern crossing and six in the south. Each turret requires a targeting computer and a CCTV camera to craft which are not particularly easy to come by in bulk. I only had one targeting computer so far and my first option to find some was the train tunnels. So I headed there to try my luck.
Someone's selling a level three workbench for 3,000 soul for all. That's worth for me. I might run to outpost real quick and do that. Oh, okay. Yes, please. Oh! I'm so glad I just bought a tier 3. Trying to convince me to not to do it when you're like my arch enemies? Optimistic to say the least. I thought it was my friendly guys that I'm friends with. And then I wouldn't have killed him. And I checked their name. I'm like, Demetrius? You're my, like, fucking worst enemy, bro. There's no chance I'm not killing you. They're the same team who stole a, an inventory of stone from me yesterday. And then when I was at Outpost, were gloating to me about it. And you think I'm not going to kill you? No. What am I doing? Probably depot time, eh? From one fight. I headed for another train tunnels run and actually got pretty lucky, pulling three laptops and a camera out of various crates. After getting home, I figured I should try and sell the spare tier three workbench that I got from the fight. So I made a shop and set the price at five CCTV cameras. I also now had enough scrap to buy a minicopter, so acquired one from the bandit camp and decided that large oil rig might provide some more laptops and cameras. I don't see lights of scientists. Yes, I do. Or is that lights of people? No, that's definitely scientist lights. On top, do I see scientist lights? Oh, no, there's people on it. Do we go? Rip mini. Daytime. He's directly above me. I have no idea if there's more. Pretty sure there's only one. Yes, laptop. Another laptop. Oh. 
Uh oh. Well, I guess you could say I am a dead man. Okay. That's unfortunate. <sighs> Maybe we just stick to tunnels and stay in our lane. I had been searching for laptops and cameras for hours now and still wasn't even close to my goal of 10 apiece. So to break it up a bit, I went back to building the wall and headed south to try and finish it off to the coast. I was progressing pretty well here. That was until the clan who lived on this peninsula decided to give me some grief. Oh, I got stuck in the water. Oh, he had to hit that shot. I reckon that's his base. I got a small feeling it might be. This group had numbers on me and a roof to watch me from. So after going back and forth with them a few times, I cut my losses and decided to hop off for the night. Before getting off though, we checked our shop and had managed to make a sale, bringing our total of cameras to 10. We still needed four more laptops, but that was tomorrow's problem. I sneakily put a bunch of resources in both external TCs in case of getting offline, including the cameras and laptops that we had, then logged out, destined for an offline raid. Look, I'm not gonna lie. I have no clue how I wasn't offline at all during this wipe, but we'll take it, that's for sure. We started the fifth and last day by doing a quick train tunnels run, which granted us one more laptop to add to our total. We then finished the southern wall with relative ease. Finally, the wall has been made to the south coast. Now we just need to put turrets on the south and then do the north. With the southern border finished, we threw down the metal barricades that we needed on top of the turret bases and started heading north. Overnight, someone had placed an armored tool cupboard on the opposite side of the tracks, so I needed to improvise and move my original turret base, which was no big deal. What was a big deal was the huge zerg that built on the island across from where I was planning to finish the wall. To add to this issue, instead of using walls and going all the way around the cliffs, we were going to have to build a sort of mini China wall and use barricades instead. This plan would be fine if there wasn't a massive group which had every intention of stopping me just across the water. I have to build quick before they notice across the water. That's the group that might kill me here. Now, basically, the plan is from this to build directly up, like two by one straight up so that I can put barricades on top, basically to avoid the cliff. No, wood. He's 
He's got a bolty. Not over yet. Did he drop? Oh, he's gone. Ski. Where did he go? I have no idea where he went. I'm so dead, though. We were almost there. One last run to the outpost to convert stone to wood should do it. Ah, oh, shit. So, once again, Demetrius and his group had taken an inventory of stone from me, while roof camping next to outpost nonetheless. On the bright side, I managed to scrape together enough stone left in my base and get just enough wood to finally finish this wall. The wall was complete. All I needed was barricades and turrets and the map would officially be cut in two. I'll just quickly head back to main base and craft some barricades, shall I? Oh shit. Oh no. They're raiding. This raid was over before I knew it, and there's no prize for guessing who had just tried to roam raid the solo. From the body of the one and only guy I had killed during that defense, we had all the evidence we needed. We would get back to them, and in a very big way. But for now, we had to get this wall complete. I did one more train tunnels run and managed to snag the remaining computers I needed, then placed the barricades on the northern bases and turrets across all the roads and train tracks that the wall intercepted. It was done.
It was glorious, but we had unfinished business. With more than a box of sulfur lost during the raid, we had to get farming. Wait, no we didn't. We still had like three boxes of sulfur left, more even. All we had to do was spend about an hour cooking it up, smelting it into explosives and crafting. 40 rockets later and you know exactly where I was heading. Now, doing a raid solo is difficult under any circumstances. Doing an online raid while outnumbered at least 3 to 1 is almost impossible. I knew this, so to give me the best chance at revenge possible, I needed a solid plan. With their base so close to the outpost, I would first run the boom in an inventory to the safe zone and F1 kill. Then I respawned at base and loaded up on building materials to then build a raid base in the only position that I could, which was close enough to their main base. It was a bit scuffed, but it would do. Then I quickly ran to outpost, grabbed the explosives off the body and secured it in the raid base before starting to pummel. Might actually go in. No sign of life will go in. I liked it from up here. Oh god, I see nothing now. Send it! Ladders, bro. I need wood. Not main loot, I repeat, not main loot. I'm just getting camped now. Okay, there's counters. That's him. I turned off streaming mode, by the way, so that's why that his name is different. And that's all she wrote for the raid. My wipe might have been over, but that didn't mean the wall wouldn't live on. Hello? Hello? Hello, 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 it's Bill. I have a, a present for you. Come out uh, naked and I show you something. Your wife been. Uh, very good, very good. But I am going to hop off now. 
I'm also going to stop doing the accent that I was doing. Don't worry about it, okay? Just pretend like I always sounded like this. Oh, okay. Here? Do you know the guy who built this wall? Um, I built the wall. No way. It was me the whole time. Oh, uh, what a stitch up. <laughs> How long did it take? Like, oh. You can have the whole wall if you want. The TCs have a few more days of upkeep in them. I was speechless. So, after walking the entire wall one last time to give every single gate and every single base to my friends, I was done. Thank you so much for watching all the way to the end. I really hope you enjoyed, and if you did, you should check this video out too, where I built a solo bridge all the way to the cargo ship.